today we discussed about the slippery slope of consumer good regulation. So actually is to see what is the correct level of regulation. But more than that, actually is to see how to strike the correct balance between the freedom of choice, the freedom of consumers, and on the other side, public health interests. And I think the question is actually more uh, how today do we actually better regulate? How is the regulation appropriate to the objective it needs to match? And for that we need to have dialogue. But for dialogue we need to use actually fact-based evidence and it seems that today more and more there's emotion that's coming into the debate. So it's how to have all of the parties involved together for them to discuss in a rational way. I think what's a great concern is that there are some NGOs, uh, civil society, who say, for example, the tobacco industry should be completely excluded from the decision-making process, which is a big mistake, and I think it could backfire badly. We need to have a seat at the table to put across our views on the evidence, the unintended consequences and the possible alternative solutions to regulation. We've seen recently the Tobacco Products Directive. Um, and we've also seen calls for plain packaging, whereby our brand is stripped completely from our packaging in UK, Ireland and France. This goes way too far and what we need is the business community and others and the consumer sector to, to, to fight against these misguided and draconian regulatory measures. While the private sector, the members of ICC all over the world are actually cooperating with any government or uh, level of power to actually meet the, the uh, public health and consumer security objectives, uh, there must also be a um, complete um, discussion and assessment on the uh, impact of these kind of public health policies on other uh, public policies regarding um, that, are, that are very broad and that goes from, from uh, competition law to intellectual property rights uh, to trade uh, access and uh, sustainable development and, and, and actually uh, also consumer uh, health and security. For retailers it is key to have safe products for consumers but they want also to leave choice to consumers, they should be able to decide what they want to uh, buy, what they want to see on the shelves and we want to offer this. And we do also want to make a useful contribution wherever we can to educate consumers about what they eat, to take healthier decisions when it comes to buy food stuff.